Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Wild Sparrow and welcome back to GFW. We are gearing up for Sacrifice. We are three weeks away. This is the second week of build-up out of a total four. So it's this show, plus two, and then it'll be GFW, Sacrifice. Um, so let's start this show. Let's let's see what to th 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 this this show brings. I, I swear I'm I don't stutter, usually. I've just been having this, this issue lately. Um... Which I don't know why I'm bringing up. Doesn't matter. Uh, our uh, show opener is Sting coming out and addressing what Jay Lethal said uh, the previous week. Jay Lethal had said that um, he beat Kazuchika Okada at uh, Victory Road. It was Victory Road, wasn't it? Let me check. Yeah, at uh, at Victory Road he beat him, and he feels like because he beat him. He deserves a title shot. And uh, that's what he said last week. This week, Sting comes out says, you do have a point. Uh, not everybody can beat uh, Kazuchika Okada. It's not easy, uh, certainly. Um, but I just can't hand out title shots willy-nilly. So what's going to happen is you get a title shot, but you're not the only one who gets it. Four other people will have uh, matches this week and the next to qualify for a six-way grand championship uh, match at uh, GFW Sacrifice. So our, uh, we do have a match scheduled for Sacrifice. It will be uh, Austin Aries versus Jay Lethal versus four other people uh, who will be qualifying this episode and the next. And our first qualifier, Christopher Daniels defeats Lurido Kid by pinfall with a last right. So we have our first qualified uh, person for the match. It is now uh, Sting. Nope, not Sting. Whoa. It is now Austin Aries versus Jay Lethal versus Christopher Daniels. Then we have a uh, vignette, Rosemary, uh, Rosemary vignette uh, saying that uh, she accepts or they accept, the Hive accepts uh, Ashley Flair's challenge. And next week, there will be a face-to-face. -face. He wants to see Ashley Flair eye to eye and see if she really is the queen that she claims to be. And in our second qualifier, Ishimori uh, pulls off a weird upset. It shouldn't be an upset because Ishimori is much better than Pagano. Ishimori defeats Pagano in 743 by pinfall with a revolution. Uh, it is now Ares versus uh, Lethal versus Daniels versus Ishimori. Then we have I Impact arguing. Uh, Seidel asking Impact why he let him down at Victory Road. And Johnny Impact saying, well, I couldn't make it back on time. Um, but I have asked, Johnny Impact says. And at Sacrifice, it'll be the two of us versus two of Evolve's guys. So that, that, that is another match scheduled, uh, High Impact versus two of Evolve's guys. And then we have uh, Jeff Cobb versus Moose Maryland. Uh, Moose Maryland basically taking offense to uh, Evolve trying to run rough shot over GFW. Doesn't really pan out too well for him because uh, Jeff Cobb beats him in 917 by pinfall with a tour of the islands. And in freestyle segment, uh, the Golden Lovers say that Kenny would know if Matt and Nick Jackson were coming. Sting's little game that he was trying to play last week, teasing some young bucks coming in to take their championship. Kenny Omega says it won't work. He would know if uh, Matt and Nick were coming. And Sting just, uh, just tells him, because this is a backstage segment, by the way. Sting just tells him, well, I guess we'll see in seven days. Uh, your challengers will be here in seven days. The, the, the thing is, do you trust Matt and Nick to tell you if they're going to take the championships off of you? Um, then a decent match. Uh, the Dynasty defeats Ortiz and Santana in 1020 when Andrew Everett defeats Santana by pinfall with a shooting star press followed by Conan coming out and, and telling Ortiz and Santana that they will be judged by their LAX hermanos next week. Uh, for their shortcomings, for their losses, for their poor performances. So I guess we will have a trial, an LAX trial, next week uh, on GFW Impact. Then in our main event, in an exceptional match, 
Dark Pentagon defeated Ethan Carter III in 2325 when Abyss ran in and attacked Dark Pentagon. Dark Pentagon makes defense number one of his GFW Global Heavyweight Championship, but the night isn't over yet because Abyss beats up Dark Pentagon and Ethan Carter III. Uh, he had some remorse about beating up Ethan Carter III, but Ethan uh, sort of confronted him about stealing his opportunity, and Abyss didn't take too kindly to that and just beat up the two men. And we end the show one a 78. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, that is a very good rating for an impact. Uh, next show, we will have our final two qualifiers for the Grand Championship match. We will see what's going on in the X Division. Um, we have our face-to-face face to face with, uh, with Ashley and, uh, and Rosemary. Uh, what else? Um... Um, the two already qualified, the four already qualified men for the Grand Championship match will face off in a tag team match. It'll be Ishimori and Daniels versus Aries and Lethal. Um, uh, the challengers for for uh, the Golden Lovers have said that they will be there um, next week as well. Um, EC3 will confront Abyss. Um... And we will have a sit-down interview with High Impact on how they are feeling. And we know they've been having issues, so we'll see how that. That's a .89 TV rating. Holy shit. Really? A .89. Hold on. Jesus, that, that is a lot of people. I think that is my highest TV rating so far. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that is my highest TV rating. Awesome, awesome. We got we got our highest TV rating so far, six hundred and seventy four thousand and twenty viewers. Cool. Um, so yeah, all of these things that I was listing. That's next episode. This episode is done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in whatever I upload next.